As a reminder, if the sun is getting to be too much, you're welcome to go into the fellowship hall. There's plenty of places at the windows to see uh, and to still be able to hear what we're doing. We begin with our litany of remembrance. O Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, Redeemer, Healer, Liberator, and Comforter, tells us, Blessed are the poor in spirit, because although our faith may be weak, we are part of God and His kingdom. Blessed are those who weep, who grieve, who are in mourning, because we will be comforted, and our tears will be wiped away. Blessed are the meek, the gentle, and those who suffer their loss in silence, because we will have a place in the land to express our grief. Blessed are those who hunger, who thirst, who long for justice and for answer to their questions, because we will have the satisfaction of knowing the truth and will be filled by it. Blessed are the merciful who share and identify with the sorrow of others, because others will show mercy to me and try to relieve me of my misery. Blessed are those who open their heart to release its poisons and make it pure, because God is the one who will wash us and free us to see him face to face. Blessed are the peacemakers, those who work to stop the violence and disregard for life, because we will be living as sons and daughters of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted in silence while struggling for justice, because the reign of heaven is ours. It has made itself present. Blessed are you when people insult you, when they persecute you, when they plot and execute evil against you, accusing you falsely because you have worked for the good and belong to the kingdom of God. We will be comforted and will rejoice in knowing that we raise our voice and made ourselves present. We will be comforted and will rejoice in knowing that God heard us. We will be comforted and will rejoice because we were with God and will continue to be with Him. We will be comforted and will rejoice with the certainty that God has not left us, not even for a single moment. Let us remember all the saints before God. We praise and bless you, O Holy Trinity. You have taught your church that it is an ageless communion of saints. We thank you for gathering those who faithfully waited and hoped for the redemption you promised, and now for adding us who celebrate the love of Christ for the redemption of the world. Prepare a place for us among those who are already with you. Help us remember them as an encouragement to saintly living, exciting us to love, in anticipation of an eternal reunion. With them we praise and bless you, O Holy Trinity. Amen. Amen. During our ritual of remembrance, uh, the first group of names, we will ring the bell for each name. Is there someone at the bell? Yes. Okay. We remember those within the life of our congregation who have died in the last year. Charlie Sayeda. Ellen Duncan. Bobby Schlegel. Dale Wilman. We will ring one bell for each of these names as well. We remember those connected to our congregation who have died within the last year. Mark DePaul. Charles Wright. Herbert Schmidt. Meg Wagner. We will ring one bell at the end of the names of those interred in our memorial garden. We remember those who are interred here in our memorial garden. Henry Bloom, Martha Bloom, Jerry Heidler, Dot Heidler, Ilsa Fincole, Karen Martinson, Ann Jensen, Muriel Hunter, Clay Menarson, Thomas Bensabinga, Earl Smith, Robert Eisman, Norma Martinson, Kay Hoskins, Ruth Eisman, Viola Broadbeck, Jeannie Tiemann, Duke Tiemann, Warren Martinson, Trudy Mormon, Helga Zadalis, Tolly Holsclaw, 
Glenn Dumdai, Elsa Athlet, Kathleen Wacker, John Wacker, Pat Falco, Carolyn Dumoulin, Ellen Duncan. We remember those whose names have been lifted up for this time of remembrance, after which we will ring one bell in their memory. Christopher Robinson, Roberta Powell, Robert Powell, Louis Mahler, Elsie Holtzclaw, John Cobb, George Smith, Angie Courtney, Tolly Holtzclaw, And we remember those others whom we name now with our lips or in our hearts. George Cox. Amy Rapaski. Amen. 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 Together we have heard God's word and shared in the Lord's Supper. We have given and been forgiven. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you. Now as this service of worship is ending, this week's service to the world is beginning. Go in peace. God is at work in you. And Thanks be to God. You are welcome to lay your flowers in the memorial garden or at the base of the bell or there's a vase at the up front somewhere. You're also welcome to go into the fellowship hall for a reception um, uh, before we begin the uh, adaptive worship service at 1115. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for honoring those whom we miss. And uh, thank you for being wonderful, beautiful saints yourselves. Take care, everyone. Bye.